The town of Campbell and 4,300 residents and businesses have been living with the knowledge of toxic tap water for nearly two years. It's something that I pray no other community will ever have to face. As I look out here today and I see my friends and my neighbors, especially those with young children who used to be able to drink from the hose or blow bubbles in their bathtub, their lives have changed and so have ours. And now we must teach our children that drinking from the tap water is toxic. So toxic that the EPA recently updated their health advisory limit to a quadrillion of its pre previous advisory. I'm not a mathematician, but I can tell you that that is a very, very, very small part. Which is why I am proud to be here today with Governor Evers and Adjutant General Call to move forward with this lawsuit. We must turn off the flow of PFAS in our community and our state. Unless we turn off the flow, we are going to be caught in a never ending cycle of trying to remediate what never should have leaked into our soil or groundwater to begin with. More than a million residents, like those standing in the room today, rely on groundwater from private wells. Communities like ours deserve safe water. Everyone deserves safe water. Water that is not contaminated by PFAS. Every Wisconsinite deserves PFAS-free and contaminant-free water for their home and for their business. We must hold these corporate polluters responsible for their actions and deter others. PFAS contamination, as we've just discussed in our state, is vast and widespread. Safe, long-term solutions, including the financing of those solutions, are going to be necessary for the health and welfare of all our residents, for these children, for the families here today, and for generations to come.